Welcome guys, I'm Sam, aka Boography, and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about the R6 again and uh, about the overheating. Is the overheating really a problem? Hmm. Let's find out. So if you haven't watched the video before, you can go and watch it. I will, I will just leave it on the pop-up. I don't know, it will come out from somewhere up here. So I will just leave it up there so that you can just go see it so you can see the, the specs and what I like so that you can fully understand what I'm going to talk about in this video. So we have heard a lot about the overheating issues that the R5 and the R6 has and uh, Canon has fixed um, some of these problems. I hope they will fix it even more. Maybe they will get rid of the recording limit. Who knows? I hope so. I don't love it. <laughs> but let's see what Canon will do, but we have heard too much. And my answer to this question where, uh, where I ask if it really overheats, obvious, yes, it overheats, as everyone has said. <laughs> and yeah, it overheats because of poor, you know, um, poor construction material that they, they didn't really put that much effort in it. They could have just changed few things in it and you have been perfectly, because I don't understand how a 20 megapixel camera of course, it does a lot of work because it has the C log, it has the down sampling and over sampling and blah, blah, blah. But, but it's not possible that it's overheating. Is it 2000 plus, like almost 3000 camera? But they have been fixing it. And there are some techniques, you know, to avoid this overheating. It's annoying and a bummer that you have to worry about it. But but hey, if you buy it, then you live with it, no? <laughs> so the thing is, um, it depends how you use it too. Like when you are shooting, you have to just remember that when you're relaxing, you just switch it off. At the pause, even five minutes of pause, you switch it off. Um, whatever you're doing when you're, use, you're not using the camera, switch it off. Or you can go just in the, in the menu system and just put the, the saving, not the saving mode, but you can just select the timings where like it can go standby with the minimum, like one minute I think is the minimum. So after one minute, it would just go in standby mode. And so put like the minimum time that you can find on the standby menu settings so that you can save battery because in video mode, the, the battery just drained, I think, in one and one and a half hour about. And uh, and you save a lot of that um, overheating issue too. I have shoot like a music video and it was like five to six hours shooting and the camera didn't overheat on me because every time that we were taking a break, I would just switch it off. Every time that I shoot and that I need to explain something to, to the models, I will switch it off. So in that way, with the last, uh, the 1.1.1, the they fixed it so that the camera just recovered more faster. And then with the 1.1.2, I don't remember if it 1.1.2 or 1.2, they didn't fix nothing about the overheating, but they fixed some, some stuff for the photo shooting side. So I really hope they will give us more overheating time so where the, the camera don't overheat faster and where we can be um, a little bit careless you know where even a distraction you don't have the camera overheating on you because you are distracted and you forget maybe to switch it off and and yeah but that's that's what it is but we hope Canon will fix that we really hope but one thing that you can do is the Ninja 5. The Ninja 5 for sure 
it's, it helps you. I had it, but then I gave it away because I was having issue with the connections. I don't know why, but sometimes I will connect the Ninja 5 and then I will connect it to, to the port, to the R6 and it keeps disconnecting. I have saw only one person here on YouTube talking about it. And I, I was like, nah, it never happened to me. Then it started happening to me. I don't know if it's a bad fate or what, but it started happening and it was a bit annoying for me. So I decided to give it back. And, but maybe yeah, in the future when I will have more and more clients probably i will take it because it saves a lot of time um, because as i said in the previous video it's heavy like the canon r6 files video files are heavy on the computer so the ninja 5 can save you a lot of time or proxies or um, or converting directly from premiere pro before editing but everything is like compromising, you know, and this is what you have to do most of the time with this camera is compromising. But hey, if you love Canon and you, can, and you cannot afford the, um, the R5, this is what you can do. Me, I'm going to save because I want the C70 so bad. <laughs> I want it so bad. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to save and when I can, I would just buy it straightforward because I'm looking into going that cinema line a little bit. And it's fantastic that I have the R6 with the RF mount and then the C70 with the RF mount. So I use one mount for all of them. So yeah, guys. So um, yes, the Canon R6 overheats, but if you compromise and you do little tweaks and you somehow work with it and trust each other and build this kind of trusty relationship with it, you can find your way out in any situation as I did. So guys, um, remember that if you want more content like this one to like, so I can grow more on YouTube, subscribe. So it, it really helped me out and comment too so that I can create more content like this. But there will be more content coming. So thank you for tuning in, guys. See you in the next video. Remember, stay safe, learn, grow, and see you in the next one.